Hi, everybody, and welcome to this video about CS Ed Week. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is CS Ed Week. It's a week every single year in December where we try to create awareness about STEM and CS. Now, I'm also going to share with you a bunch of activities and ideas that you can do not only with your students, but go into other classes, maybe even go into other schools like an elementary or middle school and do activities with them. The possibilities really are endless. And then the last thing we're going to talk about is student recruitment, because everything you learn about in this video isn't only about CS Ed Week. You can use these activities and these ideas when you do student recruitment in the spring for the fall for the school year for the coming fall. OK, so with that being said, let's get into it. So CS Ed Week this year is December 6th through the 12th. And really, there's a bunch of goals for CS Ed Week, but we really don't want to overthink it. We're here to inspire students to learn about CS. Now, some of you teach in high school, and you know that in high school, some of your students, that's the first time they were exposed to a CS class. That's not right. So you can help out your entire district by maybe going into elementary and middle schools during this week. Do activities with the students, whether they're unplugged or using computers. OK, and really get the kids in your district at all age levels interested in computer science. Now, we also advocate for equity. We always want to see if we can get more girls and minority students into CS classes. OK, and that's something else you should really be aware of. And of course, CS Ed Week isn't just about creating awareness. It's a celebration. It's a celebration of CS. So for your students who have been doing a great job during the year, you want to celebrate the work that they've done with administrators, with other people in the school. OK, this is what CS Ed Week is all about. So when we start off talking about CS Ed Week, the common question is, well, what type of activity should I do? Whether I'm going into an elementary school, a middle school, or I just want to do something in my building. Well, the first thing I'd like to talk about is it's really, really powerful to go into middle schools or elementary schools and teach the kids scratch. You just have to teach them the basics. You can use our activities to do it. Any of our unit two activities can really be used to introduce kids to scratch, especially assignment 2.1, okay? Now, not every school is gonna have access to computers. And that's why we also recommend that you do unplugged activities as well during CS week. So in our curriculum, that would be activities like the robot maze algorithm um, in unit two. In unit one, it could be the PB&J algorithm where they have to write an algorithm to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. These can be done in middle school that, or elementary school and can really get kids excited because it's making CS relatable to their everyday life. All kids have help their parents make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but not all kids know that they actually are writing an algorithm when they do that. So that's just a couple of ideas of how to maybe use these activities in the lower grade levels. Now, you also are gonna wanna just be able to create awareness in your school, in your high school. And that's where you're gonna wanna talk to other teachers. Now, technically computer science in many schools is actually coded as a math class. So you're going to want to go into ninth grade math classes, maybe talk to the teachers and see if they can come in just for one period and do an activity with that class. Let them see what you are going to be offering in your CS class, and maybe they'll be interested. Maybe they'll want to take your class, and they never even knew that this is what CS was about. And that really hits home about CS week. That's what we're trying to do. Now, some of the other activities that you can do with your students don't even involve our curriculum. And that's what I wanted to talk about next. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is they have a lot of activities that are actually provided on the CS Ed Week homepage. So this is the CS Ed Week homepage, all right? And on here, they have a lot of really good activities, all right? Now they break it down into different sections of CS Week, the teach aspect of it, your job to inspire others to learn about computer science, how to become advocates for CS, all right? So how to get more minority students and girls into CS. Also, how to get everybody involved. You're gonna learn that a lot of people wanna be part of your CS class, not only other teachers, guidance counselors, but local companies, businesses, 
any company that has to deal with any sort of aspect of CS would love to have your class come for field trips, to have their employees come in and talk to your students about CS. So that's what we mean when we say we want everyone to get involved. And of course, it's gotta be fun, right? If it's not fun, why are we doing this? So we always wanna be able to celebrate not only CS, but you, the CS teachers. And in a moment, I'm gonna talk about how you teach wants to celebrate you, the CS teacher, all right, during this week. Now, that is the steps that they take or how they break down CS Ed Week. Um, if you actually go to the teach aspect of it, that's where you'll find a lot of activities provided by CS Ed Week, the website. They have a really good activity about downloading posters and you could see all the posters um, are based on equity and inclusion. So this is one activity. Now, I always like to say, remember about the celebrate and the fun aspect of it. We want to make sure whatever you do for CS Ed Week is fun. That's why I always recommend if students have never coded before, ma'am, get them onto Scratch. Teach them the basics. Show them some sprites. Show them how to write an algorithm that just makes an animation. These are basic things that we do in Scratch, but they're not basic to other students. That can be the hook to get them into CS basically for the rest of their lives. Now, the other thing you can do is you don't have to just use you teachers activities. You don't have to use CS Ed Week's website. All right. One other thing that I recommend doing is taking the time to get involved in contests that your class can do, and you can really get them involved with them this week. And one of those contests is the Samsung Software Tomorrow contest. And this is a contest where the question for what the contest is about is really, really simple, okay? And that question is, how can students use STEM to basically build solutions to problems facing their local communities? So this is a contest. And like I said, teachers really like to do something like this. And this is something you could start with your class during CS Ed Week. All right, Samsung likes to celebrate that there's teachers that inspire students, okay? And for you, the teachers, all right, you get a lot out of doing contests as well. Samsung's not the only one. Verizon has contests, Microsoft does, Amazon does, but you also get free professional development as a teacher for partaking in this contest. You can get cutting edge technology for your classroom. And most importantly, you're preparing your students for success. You're showing them how they can take what they learned in the classroom, in your CS classroom, and apply it to actual problems that they can solve in the real world. So those are just two of the activities that we have listed over here. We actually link to all of these activities in our slide deck here. So once again, make sure you download this slide deck at bit.ly forward slash you teach CS ed. All right. Now, other things that I already mentioned here, invite a STEM professional to your class. All right. Even if it's just a virtual field trip. And the reason I'm saying that is because if you can build relationships with companies, tech companies in your area, you know, this would be a good opportunity to actually bring your students to their headquarters when it's time to do the create performance task. All right. The create performance task. A lot of teachers like to turn it into a field trip where you go somewhere to work on your task for six hours. Tech companies usually have really incredible headquarters, a lot of like amenities like free food couches, comfortable business spaces, meeting rooms. Maybe they'll let your kids go there for the day. So this is another aspect of CS Ed Week, building those relationships with people in your community so that you can then tap them later on down the road in order to partake more in your CS Ed class. Now, during CS Ed Week, I told you, you teach wants to be able to celebrate our teachers, okay? And that's our goal. We want to submit we want to celebrate teachers like you. So please click on this link and submit a teacher spotlight form. We want to put you on our Facebook page. We want to put you in our newsletter. We want to let teachers know that you are doing a great job and you're one of our You Teach teachers. So please, it's okay. We're not asking you to nominate someone else. I'm ask, asking you to nominate yourself. Submit a teacher spotlight form about you and why you deserve to be recognized during this week for special things you've done in your class. Now, you could see in those pictures over there on this screen, that is pictures of me. I took six of my students into a middle school. We put the kids into groups and we basically did our first 
few scratch assignments that we have in the you teach curriculum with them we taught them about sprites we taught them how to make them move make them talk make them run across the screen i brought my students with me they would oversee the group of students so this was just you know this is just a real world example of how cool it is not only to do these cs ed weeks activities but the impact you're having that was a fourth grade class in brooklyn new york all right and you could see by the kids faces that they're going to want to be doing these type of activities in the future they are hooked on cs all right and then there are official events and resources that we also link to over here for cs ed week all right so there's official events there's monthly newsletters social media channels all about cs ed week now i also told you that cs ed week isn't just about you know creating awareness you do want to start thinking about, hey, I'm not only doing this to create awareness, but I want these students to take my class come next year. All right. And I always say the best people to recruit for your class for next year are your current students. If they're enjoying your class, you want to get them out there to tell other students how cool APCSP or just your CS class is in general. All right. So what I included in this slide deck is a lot of student recruitment resources, not just for you, the teacher and the student, but also for your guidance counselors. Man, this, you know, the old saying, it takes a village is so true when you're trying to get CS classes into your school. You need to have administration willing to finance, you know, curriculum and believe that you can teach this course to students in your school. You need to have the students who wanna take these classes, but you need the guidance counselors who not only are gonna to talk to the students and help them make their schedules, but to understand where does APCSP fit in your school? Where does CS fit in your school? All right, should it be a ninth, 10th, 11th grade class? If it is a 10th grade class, what should the prerequisites be? Should there be difficult prerequisites? No, there shouldn't be, all right? so. That's what we're talking about. We don't wanna make CS classes hard to get into because that's a barrier. We're trying to make these classes accessible to everybody. All right, so here is just a lot of information about recruitment. Cause like I said in the beginning, this video, everything I talked about can not only be done during CS Ed Week, but can be done during a student recruitment in the spring, a you know scheduling fair that your school may have or an ap fair my school used to have advanced place college board fairs where we get all the teachers who taught ap classes into the gym and let the kids go on a tour and see what each class had to offer all right that's what this should be used for so just wanted to say that make sure you do something for the week of december 6th in your school or in your district remember you are not only the cs ed teacher in your school you're usually the entire CS department, okay? Um, there's not usually four, five, 10, 20 teachers like there are in content areas to work with, to do things. So you have to take the, uh, take the lead here, all right? You wanna take the bull by the horns and you wanna get CS awareness in your school, all right, elevated. So take some of the ideas we talked about in this presentation, all right? And I hope that you will do some activities in your school, in your middle school and in your elementary school during the week of December 6th to get people interested in CS. Thank you.